I think the amount of time that people spend uh, sifting sand and, and, and mixing things and oiling things, all of that, uh, from our perspective, since we are, we're an evangelistic mission, uh, all of that is, is, is uh, potential teaching time. And we're looking forward to that kind of interaction with people. All of, all of that is, is potential uh, discussion and teaching time. And uh, we're looking forward to that. And, and we particularly enjoyed that part of the training as well. Yeah, the, the whole idea of the filter that you make, the, not only the, the filter itself, but the vessel that, that you put it into has um, been an eye-opener. It really has been. It's been good to see that uh, it's not something that um, is already pre-made. It's something anybody can make. So it is very sustainable in any in any environment, just about. Well, we're involved in an evangelistic mission in northern Tanzania. And we're looking for outreach ministries that will meet the needs of the people there. And from the oh. first visit we made in Tanzania, the, 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 the district commissioner pointed out the desperate need for clean water throughout the district. Uh, there's um, heavy rains during the rainy season and then long dry seasons and no good storage. And so uh, if they have water, it's not necessarily clean water. It's water that the animals have tromped through and, and messed in. And um, so they have a lot of waterborne diseases and a lot of uh, challenges. Well, those that's a, that's a need that people are aware of, that they will come to to learn about how to meet that need, and they can learn about Christ at the same time, and and so that's the kind of outreach ministry that we're looking for that meets their physical needs and can also meet their spiritual needs. Yeah, see, right now we're working with rainwater catching. So, but that can only happen for part of the year. And the other part of the year, you have to deal with the water that you've already got. And a lot of that, of course, is unclean. So the filter is a very good addition to what we do because now we can deal with water all, the, all year long rather than just during the rainy season. We're, we're looking at the possibility of some micro-enterprise. Um, again, that is that is the kind of, of need that people are aware of and will come to learn about. And if we can improve their, their um, general well-being, we can also address their spiritual well-being. Yep. And so we, we, we keep the, the, the spiritual always in mind. But, uh, uh, you know, a person can only, li can only listen when their belly stops rumbling. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, Christ went about uh, healing or, 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 or doing good deeds and teaching and proclaiming. Matthew says that four times in, in his story, in, in his gospel, that Christ went about doing good and, and proclaiming and teaching. And so I think that's probably a pretty good pattern for us. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs>